before we go from worship, I want to make an announcement. I know this is a little bit different than what I've been doing online, but I want everybody, I want as many people to know about it as can. Um, on the afternoon of November 29th, from two to four, Uh, you can drive over to Bread of Life, and I'll be there. I'll have my mask on, and I will bring a bag to you. It's a little Advent bag. So no contact, and you don't have to get out. No one has to go inside the building. I'll just be there and bring it. And we have enough bags for 40 households. All right, so hopefully you'll get there early enough you can get one. And I wanna show you what you'll find in your bags because these are Advent bags. Uh, so you can set up a little Advent station in, on your table um, and every day do a little um, devotion, thinking about how we wait, how we watch for God to come. All right, so you get some blue tissue paper and you can use this, you can fold it in a special way, how you want. I just fold it in a little rectangle. Um, because then you'll also find at the bottom of your bag, woo, you'll find five candles. And you could put your candles on your tissue paper and make a little advent wreath. Now, maybe you'll wanna go outside and collect some greens to put on there. Maybe you'll wanna make it look fancier than that. Oops. But every week during advent, we'll light another candle. Let's see if I can get the contrast right. Oh, can you see it a little? It's too bright to show. The candle is on. But every week during Advent, we'll light another candle. And um, so you can put it on your dining room table in the middle. And, um, and then another thing you'll find in your bag is a daily Advent calendar. And there are little windows on the calendar. And you'll see there is like a number one. So every day of December, you open a door and there'll be a message in there. A message reminding us about Advent, about waiting for and watching for God coming into our lives again and again. Another thing we have in there is a little devotion booklet. It's a, like a study. It's to help us be thinking about um, God with us. And how we notice, again, the goal is that we're noticing that God comes into our lives. That God is with us in our everyday events. Okay, the last thing I did is I added a couple more of these letters because as I talked about um, during the offering is we're working on asking more people to help support Bread of Life, right? And so that means each one of us needs to reach out to people that we know and not just people in the deaf community, really reach out to your families, reach out to um, your cousins and other people, um, 
reach out to friends in the hearing community. We made this to um, you know, help people notice what makes Bread of Life special. There's a spot for you to write a little message to each person that you send the letter. And then we just have a really big flyer that tells people a few really important things about Bread of Life. And then we ask them to help well, to do lots of things to get involved with Bread of Life. First, to pray for our congregation, but also, and also to ask them for their financial support because we, we need more people to help support what we're doing here at Bread of Life. So next week, Sunday afternoon on November 29th from 2 until 4 p.m. I'll be at the church building and I'll have these little gift bags for you, little advent bags for you. Um, and so uh, this last thing I wanna ask, if you know somebody who doesn't watch worship online, who doesn't have an email address, who uh, maybe isn't quite sure that, every, that this is gonna happen, that you would contact someone. So maybe this week, take half an hour and contact two or three people and let them know to go and pick up their Advent bag next Sunday afternoon.